Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to True Reflections. Um, I'm doing my best to stay consistent with uploading new segments. And I'm also trying to um, record my vlog at the same time. So for those of you that's listening on a podcast that don't know, I do have a YouTube channel. It's called True Reflections by Cheyenne Angels. You can go ahead and check it out. And once you get on YouTube, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel once again. Um, my channel is called Cheyenne Angels True Reflection. So you can go ahead and check it out so you can see the face behind the voice. So let's get into it. Um, today I just want to touch basis on this little thing called accountability. And it's something that I see debate about constantly on social media on instagram on facebook we have the female accusing the men for not taking accountability and we have the men accusing the females for not taking accountability when in actuality both parties needs to know when to take accountability and what they are taking accountability for now, from a woman's perspective, men needs to take accountability for the way that they act and the things that they do and, you know, the way that they behave and so much more. And the men part of females taking accountability is this one thing that always gets me. And that's really what I want to touch basis on, you know, on the men's perspective, when they ask women to take accountability, their favorite go-to line is, quote unquote, pick better men. Hmm. Pick better men. And now that's interesting. That's interesting coming from the men that's always telling women to pick better men. Now, fellas, for those of you that are, that are listening out there, I would really appreciate it to get some feedback from the men out there to help me as a woman. How do we pick better men? How do we pick better men? Because there are no labels and no signs that you know label each individual for who they are men do not walk around with labels on their hairs that says hey i'm a fuck boy or hey i'm a loser hey i'm a good guy hey i'm a christian hey i'm a gangbanger hey i'm a good um caring loving um man or whatever we do not walk around with labels, okay? So how do we pick better men? And listen, I'm genuinely asking, I mean, excuse the ignorance. I would just really like some feedback because the argument is always, again, pick better men. But I've always said this, that people are very pretentious. People are very pretentious. They are great pretenders. And that goes for male and females alike. And the reason why I say that men and women are great pretenders because oftentimes when you're meeting somebody for the first time and you are getting to know them, um, initially on the first conversation, we have a series of interview questions that, you know, that we ask people. And I find like me personally, I get a lot of slack. Um, I get ghosted. I've gotten cussed out simply for not answering certain interview questions. Okay. Now the interview questions that male and females generally ask, but I can speak from 
um, from a female perspective based on the, the numerous of times that I've been asked repeatedly one question, maybe in a different way. And it's always, what type of man do you like? What characteristics do you look for in a man? Like, what can I do? You know, it's questions like that, right? And I have learned during the course of the years to not answer those type of interview questions because number one, I am not going to give you the cheat code to win me over. I am not going to give you the answers that you seek to win me over because my thing is if you possess the qualities that I look for in a potential mate and you know within yourself and you are confident within yourself that you possess those qualities, there would be no need for you to ask me what type of man, what type of guy do I go for, what I look for, the characteristics of a, of a person that I, you know, that I look for to do. I'm not going to give you the answers. And oftentimes when both parties, males and females, like when you answer these questions, based on the answers that you give, again, you are giving these people the cheat code, the answers that they need to win you over. They are going to emulate and pretend to be exactly what you describe. And then you're going to find yourself falling in love with the illusion that they portray to be. And then six months to a year or a year, a year and a half into the relationship, when they feel as though they have gotten you exactly where they need you to be in that instant, and then the masks fall off, and then you start to see them for who they really are because a person can only pretend for so long. You could only pretend to be something that you're not for so long. If you are not genuinely that person, if it's not genuinely in your characteristics, you can only pretend for so long. So after a period of time, the mask has fallen off and you start to see them for who they really are because now they have gotten comfortable. By then, you have already fallen in love. Um, By then, maybe, you know, a child is already in the mix now and, you know, things tend to go left. And then when you try to, you know, express yourself as to what happened in the relationship or you know, what may have transpired. The first thing men tell you, oh, women, you need to take accountability because you chose that guy. You knew what you was getting into when you decided to date said person. So you need to take accountability for your actions. You need to take accountability for your, uh, for your choices. Okay, men, granted, as women, yes, we need to take accountability because we chose these men. We need to take accountability because we allowed these men into our lives. We need to take accountability because we, you know, ultimately decided that we're going to lay down with these men and, you know, bear children by these men. But at what point do the men take accountability for misleading the women into believing them to be what they are not. Because I promise you, if men would genuinely approach women exactly as they are, allowing us to see them or to see you men exactly as you are, we will not make such detrimental mistakes in picking men but you men would come as sheep as wolves pardon me as wolves in sheep's clothing pretend to be what we, what we say we want you to be 
do all the things that is required of you, say all the things, whatever, until you get us in a position where we're head over heels in love with you. And then you decide that you're going to switch up. So at what point are the men taking accountability for being pretentious? At what point will the men take accountability for being deceitful? At what point will the man take accountability for lying and manipulating females into getting into relationships with them? At what point? At what point will the men take accountability for that as opposed to telling women, pick better men? Pick better men. And please don't say that, you know, the signs are there. Oh, you could have, you, you, um, if you're smart, you could have paid attention. But again, people are very pretentious. People are very pretentious. And sometimes when you men come and you guys, you know, you send your representative ahead of you. Your representative would be the character that you pretend to be, the illusion that you that you uh, um, play, the role that you guys engulf yourself in, in an attempt to win the female. So ultimately, how do we pick better men when we are not given the option to pick between who you really are and who you pretend to be? So how do we pretend to be Prince Charming knowing that you're not? And then when we fall for you, you play in our faces, you spit in our faces, you shit on us, and then have the audacity to tell us, pick better men. How do we pick better men? How do we do that? Because you are not giving us the fair options to pick better men. Because again, nobody walks around with a label stating that I am a piece of shit. Nobody walks around stating that I am a fuck boy. Nobody walks around saying that I have community dick. Nobody walk around saying that I am an abuser. Nobody walks around with labels that we can read and see so we can know, okay, I'm going to stay away from this guy and I'm going to go for this guy. And okay, listen, granted this whole nice guy finish last, this whole, you know, sometimes women, we will meet a nice guy and, you know, we will friend zone him and go for the bad boy or whatever. Yes, granted, you know, we will take accountability for all of that. But what about the many instances where we didn't friend zone him? What about the many instances that we didn't friend zone him, we gave him a chance, and he still turned out to be a fuck boy? How then do we make better choices? And the flip side of that, if women have to make better choices in choosing their men, it says a lot about the mothers that are raising these men. Listen, I'm a mother, I have two sons, and you know, I am trying my best to instill good values and good principles in my sons because I am not just raising my sons, but I am raising somebody's boyfriend. I am raising somebody's husband. So I am trying my very best to make my boys be good, respectable men that somebody's daughter can and will appreciate. But for the many fuck boys that are out there, for the many boys, I say boys, or 
little boys in grown men bodies what how whatever you want to use to label and to to call these individuals for the many young males young and old for the many males that are out there that are deliberately and purposely and intentionally doing things to hurt women out there it says a lot about the female it says a lot about the woman that is raising these males because if women are doing better jobs at raising their sons then we wouldn't have to pick better men because they would already be better men but again it falls back again to the men and the question is then posed again to the men how do we ensure that these women are raising better boys to grow up to becoming better men if the men in their lives are not present because when when you as a male came to me you stepped to me and you presented your representative i fell in love with your representative i got pregnant by you or whatever the whole time we were dating things were good and then a child came it gets a little bit more sticky a little bit more complicated a little bit more tricky and then you decide that hey i am not ready for this type of responsibility and you leave me on my own to raise this child how would i have known that that would have been the outcome based on how you presented yourself to me how would i have known that you after getting me pregnant that you would then turn around and abandon me and the child for me to raise on my own how do i safeguard myself from that when you tell me to pick better men how do i safeguard myself and that is and that is a genuine question because that is every time i'm on social media and i'm looking like at these comments and the conversations between men and women the is always pick better men and this is a genuine question again excuse my ignorance because it's like okay nobody willingly goes towards the danger cuz usually when something is no good for you when you go anywhere if you are going um to the supermarket to buy to buy products and something is dangerous there's usually a warning label that says you know if consumed this and this may happen to you so you are then cautious you are then cautious to make sure that you know it's not consumed if you are going on a con- construction site or anywhere that you go there's usually any anywhere or anything that poses harm that poses any form of danger comes with a warning label it usually comes with a warning label that says caution warning but as humans and please understand that this goes for both males and females so this is just like not just like a male bashing thing but the question is posed to men that usually say pick better men you know humans don't walk around with warning labels you know and sometimes and sometimes you don't want to judge a person of the bad and you want to give person a fair break a fair opportunity but at the same token when things go left women are then to blame and we are told to pick better men make better choices but it's funny because when men get shit on by the women very rare do we tell men 
well, pick better females. It's, it's like, it's crazy to me. Women never say to men, pick better females. Well, maybe you should have picked a better baby mama. Maybe you should have picked a better wife. Like very rare do you hear women saying this to men. Because at the end of the day, we know that women can be shit. Women can be just as shitty as men. And we take responsibility. We don't throw it in a guy's face and say, well, you should have picked a better baby mama. But why do men constantly find a way to belittle women and to make women feel less than nothing and always like, well, take some type of accountability, pick better men. How? How? Because when we met these men that we chose to be in a relationship with, nothing indicated in that moment, nothing indicated that he would have been an abuser. Nothing indicated in that moment that he was a fuck boy. Nothing in that moment indicated that he was a narcissist. Nothing in that moment indicated that, hey, when I have a child by you, that you are going to abandon me. How? And usually the way that it goes, by the time, by the time that we realize the type of person these men are, it's usually too late. And I say it's too late because emotions are already involved. We have already fallen in love with the individual. And it's hard to shut your feelings off in an instant. So when we talk about accountability, when men are asking women to take accountability, men also need to reflect on themselves. Because, you know, (laughs) you know what is funny? Is that when women are apprehensive and being very cautious, when they meet the next person, this is always, well, I'm not him. I'm not like the other guys that you're used to. I'm different. And only for you guys to turn around and be exactly the same. Like, come on. So when are you guys, when are the men are going to take accountability and say, hey, yes, you know what? We need to take account, we need to take accountability for you know, for deceiving you guys into being in a relationship because for every guy out there that claims to be a good guy, maybe as you grow and as you mature, you developed and you became a good man. But at some point in time in your life, you were hell to somebody, to to somebody you were a fuck boy to a female. So when you say pick better men, pick better men, how do we pick better men? And are you the better man that we need to be picking? And if you say yes, yes, I am the I am a good man that you know that I get overlooked and or whatever, what would your ex have to say about you? What would your exes say about you? Would your ex say that, yes, he was, he was a good man and I fucked up and I let him go? Or would your exes disagree and say, well, you know, you were hell to me or you were toxic to me or you did this and you did that. Think about it. The next time you open your mouth to say, or you get on the keyboard to say, to type to a female and say, hey, 
pick better men. Ask yourself, what would my exes say about me? And guys, listen, don't say, well, oh, my ex is crazy. Because again, when you saw her and you approached her, was there anything about her that said, I'm crazy, don't approach me? No, no. So saying that, oh, my ex is crazy, she's gonna talk shit about me, is not a valid excuse. At the end of the day, if we're talking about accountability, we need to do a self-reflection on ourselves and take accountability for the things that we did and the things that we said to anybody that we were in a relationship with and the relationship didn't work out, especially if you ended up, if the relationship ended on bad terms. So that is just something that I really just wanted to say. I just really wanted to touch bases on. I would love, 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 love to hear some feedback. Um, you know, this is an open dialogue, um, you know, so please join in the conversation. You can leave messages for me and, you know, I'll answer them. Um, you can leave your thoughts and your opinions for me. It will be greatly appreciated. And um, as always, thanks you guys so much for tuning in to True Reflections. And I hope to see you guys on the next segment. So God bless and you guys be good out there.